you're rocketing down the runway. But once those throttles go forward, who's really controlling the power? Airbus and Boeing do take off logic completely differently. On Airbus jets, takeoff thrust is set by placing the levers in a fixed detent. Toga for max or Felex for reduced power. After that, you leave them alone. Auto thrust takes over and manages engine output from climb to cruise, all without moving the levers again. On Boeing aircraft, the thrust levers move with engine power. You push them forward manually at takeoff and they stay in sync with real-time thrust. If you want more or less power, you move the levers. The auto throttle doesn't override you. Airbus treats the levers like a mode selector, a digital request for takeoff power. Boeing treats them like a physical throttle. What you see is what you get. One is abstract and automated. The other is tactile and manual. In Airbus, you don't touch the levers again until descent. In Boeing, your hands live on the throttles, ready to override or adjust at any moment. It's not just about trust. It's about philosophy. Automated energy versus manual energy. Would you rather push once and trust the computers or feel every ounce of thrust in your hand? Airbus detents or Boeing dynamics, which one would you take off in?